Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing a craft galley design team project today and I am getting to play with the new Neat and Tangled Swinging By. So we'll get to that in just a second. This is the stamp set I'll be using in today's video. But I also just wanted to show you quickly a couple other things that I got from the shop. This one is a Sizzix die and stamp set, which is adorable. I love that they're the dies come with it, so I'm going to try some techniques with those dies. And then I got a coloring book, a water coloring book. So this is a beautiful coloring book with foiled embossing already on it, gold and silver, and it's really thick heavyweight cardstock. So I'm going to guess it's about 140 pounds of watercolor. So I'm really excited about playing with that. Okay, so we'll get into this card here. I'm going to be using some Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. I'm not going to heat emboss it, which is shocking, I know, but I am going to watercolor with it, and you want a watercolor friendly ink to do that. So um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that to the right I have my glass mat filled with Arteza watercolors <laughs> that I used in a recent review video. I'm still working on that glass mat and I'm pulling in some of these colors. I am gonna show you the coloring for my images here. I am working on some Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper, now oh, cardstock, and it's really, really bright white, I love it. Um, the bright whiteness doesn't matter so much to me if I'm not gonna utilize the whiteness, and so what I mean by that is I'm gonna cover up this card with Distress Oxides in the background, but if I was to want a lot of white space, then that feature of this cardstock is amazing. It's also very good watercolor paper to work on, so um, that's obviously the most important feature. Right now I am going in and trying to put some shading on my elephant here. I chose sort of like a warm gray. Um, it's not quite brown and it's not quite gray, so I guess that's where we're going to fall into the category. And I am going through and just, this is me practicing. This is me working at trying to figure out how to do this without my, um, the comfort and safety of my Arteza markers, <laughs> which I use quite frequently. So I am, it, this is fun for me. And this is a lot of me figuring out, you know, um, how much water, where to put it, when to dab it off on my paper towel and I still have a while to go until I feel comfortable. However, I really do like the way that this came out. I thought, you know what? You're on the right track, Mary. But if there's some watercolor experts out there that want to give me some tips, I'm all ears. I'm going to color in my little girl here. This is so cute. One thing that caught my eye about this stamp set is the ability to alter it. Um, I think it would be so super fun to take that girl off of the the picture and put anything you want in there. Like that elephant is holding a cup of coffee. Maybe you want to swing by with a cup of coffee for somebody. <laughs> or let's a present. You could hold a present. Um, so there's just ideas there that you can kind of, you know, mask out your little girl when you're stamping and then put in something else. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And that's why I picked up this set or this stamp um, because of that ability, because I'm trying to find stuff that I could do more than just one thing with. Um, I also think if you put her on um, a wobbler, that'd be kind of cute, or him, but mostly because she's the one in the motion, that would be fun. If you um, put her on a slider, that would be cute as well. So just some ideas to kind of stretch, get the use for this stamp. Today's card, I'm just doing something very simply, and um, I'm just, you know, keeping it flat, or so I thought. <laughs> so now comes the reveal of me telling you how I messed up this card. Um, we'll, we'll watch it together in a moment, but I will tell you, please make sure that your image is dry before you do masking. Please, can you do that? Because I did not do that. And so anyway, we are going to use my makeup brushes here to put on some of the uh, tum uh, tumble glass for the background. And then I'm going to take out this stencil here. I w did a live video recently and I used this uh, look where you get the cloud look at the top. And then I did a little 
grassy look at the bottom. I really liked the way it came out, so I said, why not do it again? There's no rule here that says you can only do one technique per month. So I'm going to duplicate my techniques. And so I love that. Got the clouds. They're out there on a bright, sunny day. It's obviously spring or summer because I have bright green grass coming your way with some Twisted Citron and mowed Lawn. And um, yeah, it's just the card. The card is happy in and of itself. Putting down that uh, Twisted Citron first. And then I'm going in with this stencil um, just to put a little bit of some dimension there. It almost looks like maybe some, you know, hills, hillside or hills that they're kind of standing on. Okay, so I get that done. And then I'm like, oh, the big reveal. Like, this is where the magic is, right? We all get excited about the big reveal. But my big reveal was a travesty. So I pulled off my masking paper here. And my images were not dried underneath. My masking paper was too sticky. And essentially, I rendered this project unsavable. When I say that, I mean the actual intent I had for a one-layer card. Unsavable. <sighs> there it is. Done. All right. So I took a few minutes. I regrouped. I came back to the table. I said, I'm not wasting this. Let's just color up something else. So I colored with my Arteza markers. I know, terrible, right? But that's okay. I know you guys all support me. <laughs> okay, so I colored him in and I used some a little bit of browns in where the shading was and then just grays. Nothing fancy, just I thought, I've never seen a clean elephant, so I'm going to throw some dirt on him. And then I um, colored in my girl as well. I cut them out. I popped them up on the thing. And because the lines are already stamped out, we are G to G. That means good to go. And now I am taking out a sentiment from my stash of sentiments. I showed this in a video recently. And I just made a whole bunch of sentiments and heat embossed them all at once. And voila, I get to just choose a sentiment out, pop it on a card. And that is what we call a day. On here, I am going to um, offset this on another piece of a scalloped black cardstock that I cut out. And that's just going to give that nice little border there on the upper left hand side. I didn't have a scallop that was one size larger. So I just improvised and I used the same die. And there you have it. So now I'm going to put this down on my 110 card stock here, nice and sturdy. And that will finish up the card. Thank you so much for stopping by for hanging out with us. Um, you can find this and the other supplies over at the Craft Galley shop. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and here's some more videos in the meantime that you can check out and we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.